everybody. It is Thursday, July 20th, and here we are at Mammoth Springs, Wyoming, where we are going to be doing the Beaver Pond Trail loop today. Hoping to see some wildlife. We already did see two elk upon our arrival here. Looks a little bit cloudy and overcast. We're hoping for no rain. Time will tell. This is Mammoth Springs, Wyoming. And just the overall colors here this morning. It's kind of cool. It's different. But we are hoping for some wildlife. And definitely something different for me. So we'll see what it has to offer and we'll bring it to you here. Good morning, Raven. Smell the sulfur in the air already. And here we are, 820, getting started. Stay tuned and enjoy. two and a quarter miles in on our hike. If you look, can you see what is unique in this picture? The hint is up in the air. <sighs> Haven't guessed it. If you look and zoom in <clears throat> on pretty much every flower that I'm showing you right now, you will see that they are all turned and leaning towards the sun. Did you guess right? So we are hiking along. Haven't really seen any wildlife as of yet. We're about 3.04 miles in. Uh, so far today we saw two elk and two smaller baby deer. I don't know if there would be mule deer or white-tailed deer, but deer nonetheless. Really haven't seen much other wildlife, which is why we are actually trying to do this hike today. But the scenery itself is beautiful. Birds chirping, and as you see, the abundance of wildflowers that we get to walk through. The aroma from them is awesome. So, wildflowers a plus, scenery a plus, weather a plus, just trying to work on the wildlife. So this is Mammoth Springs. There'll be various hot, hot springs on different terrace levels, all with their own different and unique characteristics. We're gonna hike through here today and kind of show you what Mammoth Springs, Wyoming has for you.
We are now here at the Midway Geyser Basin. <clears throat> this is where some of the most spectacular geysers are at. But if you can see from the background, we're looking to be fighting some uh, stormy weather coming at us. So we are going to try and show you. It's warming up the river. It's warming up the river. All right, guys, that is steaming hot geyser water coming down. That is dumping into the river that we were actually once swimming in a little earlier today. Uh, that water is extremely, extremely hot and not to be touched. So we are getting ready to battle some severe weather that's supposed to be coming our way. However, we are going to try and show you everything that Midwest Geyser Basin has to offer before it actually hits us. So, stay tuned. Yes, here we go. Famous guys are known as uh, Excelsior. Catching it on the right day, you can see a huge amount of different colors associated with it. I mean, that we have a bad storm coming at us and an excessive amount of steam coming off. It might be a little hard to see it right now. See, there's crazy people touching water. <laughs> this is the Grand Prismatic Spring. Grand Prismatic Spring. And if you're standing here, the temperatures are probably about 60 degrees, but with the steam coming off of this, it warms up to be about 90 degrees. Crazy wonders. I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but the Grand Prismatic Spring has a multitude associated with it. You may or may not be able to see from this pictures. But it is a huge array of different colors associated with the whole spring itself.
also Excelsior Geyser, which is right there in front of us. I have to mention the, the signs to kind of explain the history behind it, how it was born and what it does. But as you can see, the water running down right there. This geyser roughly dumps about 500 gallons of hot water a minute into the fire hole creek slash river, which is down below that you can see there. It's amazing how the earth gives it up the hot ground and it like back and dumps it down into the river. Provide for humans, fish, vegetation, and everything else. And now it's starting to rain. 